is Marlene Green? An activist, an educator, someone who has had a clear impact on Toronto's school system, and yet there is so little to be found on her. Where is Marlene Green? Marlene is an image of what a revolutionary is to me. The way she moved in the world, physically, it was larger than life. She saw black young people who were being discriminated, who were being picked up by the police, who were just not doing well in school, who had no options open to them. All of those things she saw and she said, you know, this has got to change. Marlene opened my mind to sort of viewing people as one and not having this limitation on class. She had a wild sense of humor in terms of her sort of thinking around things and talking about it. She was very, very clear, especially when it comes to the fact that we had to stand up and fight back. It was a time when the civil rights stuff had happened in the States, but nothing had happened really in Canada. She saw the kinds of difficulties in successfully accessing the education system. If you were black, you were marked in a certain way. You could feel that physically and psychically. There was an absence of anything about black culture history in the curriculum. A lot of the Jamaican children had particular difficulties in integrating the school system because of language, the issue of their accents. She saw it as a phenomenon and she saw racism for what it was. It was this huge thing in society that was there that nobody wanted to talk about. And she said, no, we have to talk about it. This isn't multiculturalism, friends. This is not about song and dance and about accepting of somebody else's culture. This is about race. This is about the color of people's skin. So the Black Education Project was this organization that was set up and run by black people, and they were allies also, to address certain inequalities in the system, namely the education or the lack thereof of black children in the school system. Because it was assumed that they were performing below the actual performance. So in recognizing these barriers, the Black Education Project um, was attempting to deal with some of these issues by working with the communities and also working with the education system. It was about making them proud of their identity, which was really hard to do at that time. You were, there was no representation. It was like, please go away. With Marlene Green at the helm, the Black Education Project utilized 100 volunteers to tutor kids on the weekends and evenings at their locations and to educate their parents about the school system. She was a big and bright voice and someone who would stand up to all injustice. During the 1980s and 90s, Marlene Green took her activism internationally throughout the Caribbean and Eastern and Southern Africa to support community development and the fight against apartheid. She believed in a revolution by transformation, but from the ground up. There are a number of things that were transformative and provided a sense of community and a way that people could see their way and negotiate their way in the system that I think came directly from Marlene Green's work in this community. 
she had this perspective that if in fact that you could create an equal playing field for everyone that then the outcomes would be much more equal. Because nobody had ever done this before. I mean, Toronto is really a trailblazer and who is behind it? Marlene Green.